Thank you, uh, uh, Chairwoman Lowy and Ch Chairman Rogers uh, for their leadership uh, on this bill. Mr. Speaker, there's no such thing as a perfect bill. There are a number of things about this bill that I would change, and to that extent, I'm probably like everybody else in this House, and that I opposed when they were brought to the floor on their own, specifically ending the 40-year four four year ban on crude oil exports. However, this bill, uh, in, in addition, fails to include language that will enable Puerto Rico to restructure its cost to the taxpayer which is a resource uh, the Puerto Rican government deserves to avoid real harm to our citizens, our citizens living on the island. The Speaker has indicated a willingness to work across the island this er er early next year. We must do so. But this omnibus represents a compromise that will avert a government shutdown and continue our investment in national security, education, housing, public health, innovation, environmental protection, and maintaining justice. No one, as never happens, is going to get everything they want or prevent everything they oppose from being included. Businesses and workers across our country deserve the certainty that comes from ensuring that our government remains open and serving the American people. I'm glad that the most egregious partisan policy writers were removed from this bill. I congratulate Mr. Rogers and Ms. Lowy for that accomplishment. I believe we can do better, especially when it comes to making investments in areas that grow our economy, such as infrastructure, research and innovation, higher education, and workforce development. But I will in support this omnibus, and I urge my colleagues to support this omnibus, because we must not let the perfect stand in the way of the practical and the appropriate. It is our responsibility not to kick the can down the road with a continuing resolution but to pass common sense appropriations that avert the dangers to our economy that stem from a shutdown. This bill achieves those goals. And I hope we can move into the new year with a renewed sense of what we ought to do together to invest in a stronger future for America. I urge my colleagues to vote yes on this omnibus bill and thank Mr. Rogers and Ms. Lowy for their leadership and yield back the balance.